A new report has placed the U.S. as the 35th healthiest country in the world. Americans celebrated by ordering a number three and a number five. A big party, and we're all invited. He wrote, hold the date. We will be having one of the biggest gatherings in the history of Washington, D.C. on July 4th. It will be called A Salute to America and will be held at the Lincoln Memorial. Major fireworks display, entertainment, and an address by your favorite president, me. <laughs> Finally, a chance to celebrate America on July 4th. And Trump says this will be one of the biggest gatherings in the history of Washington, D.C., and he's Never been wrong about the size of a crowd there before. It is According to Politico, some Republican donors are concerned that President Trump doesn't really have a campaign strategy for the 2020 election. Of course he doesn't have a strategy for his campaign. He doesn't even have a strategy for drinking water. Trump said he was not happy with the Oscars. Did you know that? No. True story. He was furious that best foreign film went to someone from another country. The 2020 presidential election is around the corner. Let's all mobilize. Let's all be on the right side of history. Make the, make the moral choice between love versus hate. I love that he didn't mention Trump by name, but Trump heard hate and assumed it was about him. <laughs> when Trump hears the word hate, it's like his bat signal. Someone said the word hate. Alfred, get me my Twitter belt. Of course, there were some interesting winners last night. For example, the Oscar for Best Animated Short went to Kim Jong-un. Oh, really? <laughs> Wow. The president is now on his way to Vietnam. I guess the bone spurs finally healed up and he's good to go. He's on Air Force One. North Korean dictator and all the members of the Adams family combined. <laughs> Kim Jong -un. Uh, Speaking of Kim Jong un, later this week he's meeting with President Trump. They have a lot in common. They inherited everything from their dads and they cut their own hair. <laughs> Kim Jong un, meanwhile, is traveling by train to Vietnam. On Saturday, an armored train carrying Kim Jong un. Left Pyongyang at 5 p.m. local time. It will travel 2,800 miles to Vietnam. Sounds like the beginning of a math word problem. And, but this is his train. This is the little engine that could. And he's 2,800 miles by rail is a long way. That's a long journey for Kim Jong Un, and an even longer journey for the prisoners who have to carry his train while he's in it. Great relationship. Uh, the Singapore was a tremendous success. Only the fake news likes to portray it otherwise. We would have gone, we would have been, we would have literally been in a war with North Korea, in my opinion, had I not been elected. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> well, no, thank you for, <laughs> for achieving what had only been achieved previously by Dennis Rodman.